What's up everybody, OT for Tech here and today we're going to be looking at the Trident Kraken AMS case for the Galaxy S5. Now you can purchase this case for about 50 bucks, you can get it in some stores or you can go to the Trident website which the link will be in the description below and pick it up there. I would like to thank Trident for sending this case out to review, without them this review wouldn't be possible so thank you guys for sending me this review unit. On a side note, this entire video is filmed with the OnePlus One in the highest resolution which is 4k DCI which is true 4k so make sure you bump up that resolution to get the full experience in this review and as you can see on the back of the box there this case offers a lot of protection and inside the box all you're going to get is a case and a belt clip to install this case on your phone it's very simple just push down on the corners to remove the front put your phone in and then snap back on the front it's a very easy and very simple process just like you would a OtterBox Defender or any other extreme durable case now that we got the case installed, we can go ahead and take a look around it. And as you can see, it has a built-in screen protector, an opening for the home button for the fingerprint reader, an opening for the camera, LED flash, heart rate monitor, and it also has a built-in kickstand. The kickstand is made of like an aluminum or metal, and it actually is going to add some more weight and bulk to this case. And it also has a speaker cut out at the bottom left corner. At the bottom, you have a flap covering your micro USB 3.0 charging port, as well as a microphone cutout. At the top, you have your IR blaster cutout and your headphone protector protector which is another little flap that goes over to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the sides you have your power button and your volume up and down rocker the kickstand on this case is what really separates it from cases like the OtterBox or the Griffin Survivor. Considering the Galaxy S5 has a beautiful display, you can prop it up when watching YouTube videos or even full out movies from the Google Play Store. And it's sturdy enough to scroll up and down when viewing websites or text messages. At first when I installed the case on my phone, I couldn't get the fingerprint reader to work. But after I adjusted it and realized that it wasn't snapped in correctly, it works with no problem now. And it actually makes for a better swipe because it's almost an even surface. The buttons provide a good tactile click and they're very responsive so you don't have to worry about the volume up and down or the power button being unresponsive. The overall in the hand feel is great. It's going to give you a comfortable grip because it has that hard plastic mixed with the silicone and if it's on your lap you don't have to worry about it sliding off your lap and if it does it's in a very thick and very protective case. And because most of the silicone is on the inside layer, it's not going to attract a lot of pocket lint or anything like that when sliding it in and out of your pocket. A lot of the times with cases that have built-in screen protectors, they're either unresponsive or have like a pillow effect, but I have not experienced either of those with this particular case. In fact, it's very responsive and there's not a huge gap between the phone and the screen protector. My only issue is sometimes, depending on the lighting, you notice a rainbow effect and it's almost always in fluorescent lighting only. It does not interfere with the usability of the heart rate monitor, nor does it give you flash feedback or interference with the camera. One quick thing about the screen protector is it is going to dim the display a little bit, especially when viewing your screen in outdoors. When putting on the belt clip, you cannot put it on with the screen facing outward. It has to be with the screen facing inward. I'm not sure why it's not reversible like the OtterBox Defender is, but they made it to where the screen protector has to be facing inward. Therefore, the belt clip cannot be used as a built-in kickstand like the one built into the case itself. Now, once you get the phone into the belt clip, you're going to hear a comforting snap and the charging port at the bottom is fully accessible even with the belt clip on it. The clip itself is able to be rotated 360 degrees so you can get it in a comfortable position that you may need while it's clipped to your belt. And when opening the clip, it will actually lock so it stays open and there's a little switch or a little flap that you just click and it will close it right back. And as you can see, you can prop your phone up, but since you can't attach it to the belt clip itself with the screen facing outward, it serves no purpose. Here's a quick look at it compared to the width of the Galaxy S5 and you can see it's going to add quite a bit of bulk to it. And here's a quick look at it from the side so you can see how much thickness it's going to add to it. And as I said, it's a very bulky case and it's meant for people that need that extreme protection. The corners have that silicone layer so it's going to give you some added shock protection when dropping on the corners. As you can see here, it survives drops just fine, even on the hard concrete. The only thing I've noticed when dropping it on the concrete is it actually opened. So be mindful, if you drop this case, make sure you give it a quick thorough check to make sure it didn't open up on you. 
And as far as water resistance and being waterproof, since the phone itself is water resistant, that shouldn't be an issue. Just make sure if you do drop it in the pool or the toilet or wherever you drop your phone with the case on, that you remove it immediately and take the phone out because you don't want the phone sitting in a case with like a puddle of water because it can leak into the back, considering the Galaxy S5 is only supposed to be exposed to water for up to 30 minutes. But as you see here, I did spray it with the hose and the phone is fully functional and water did not seep in. Oh, and just to add a note on the side, most headphones should work in the opening for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The only ones might be the ones that have an extra wide base or a super L-shaped bin. But for the most part, almost all of your third or aftermarket headphones should work with no problem. This is OT for Tech. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Check out Trident for a case for your Galaxy S5. Leave me a comment in the section below. Follow me on all my social media networks. And of course, as always, guys, thank you for watching and all your support.